Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Workplace English Communication Contacts and Strategies. Time flies. We are finally going into the last unit: business travel. Before we start, I would like to remind all of you of a few things. First, this is an advanced English course, so it's natural for you to find the materials and assignments a lot more challenging than the ones you had experienced before. If you have any questions or concerns, you are always welcome to contact me through email. If you are shy, you can also turn to the teaching assistants, and they will report back to me. So, if you have questions or concerns, remember we are always there for you. We can help you. Second, please remember to check the announcements I make on Tron Class regularly, so that you do not miss any updates. Okay, these are the things I would like to remind you of. Let's start our lesson today. Let's take a look at the agenda of this week.、Uh, the unit business travel is essentially about people skills. So the first thing we need to work on is what people skills are. Then we will work on a new reading called Five Things You Can Get Out of Attending a Business Conference. Before you listen to my explanation, I am going to invite you to do some pre-reading activities to help you familiarize yourself. With some reading strategies, such as making predictions and skimming, by doing these pre-reading activities, you will find my explanation a lot easier to understand. So you must do them. In addition, I am going to share some useful tips to help you network better in a business setting. Or more specifically, in the business conference. Later, you will know what the verb network means. Okay. Without further ado, let's get started. First, people skills. People skills is an umbrella term. What is an umbrella term? An umbrella term is a phrase or a word that includes different kinds of things. And people use one word or one phrase to name them to help people understand better. So, people skills include, or I should say, encompass. This is a verb we learned before, right? Encompass means to include a variety of things. People skills encompass three kinds of abilities. The first ability is. The ability to effectively communicate, understand, and empathize. You need to know how to talk to people clearly, and you also need to be able to understand their ideas or concerns. And more importantly, you need to be able to empathize. To empathize is to Understand the feelings of others. Second, the ability to interact with others respectfully. So you need to be polite to others and develop productive working relationship. When you work with others, you need to work in a style that produces good results within a given time. So we do these things to do th- two things. Minimize conflict and maximize report. So, minimize means to reduce something to the least amount. So we try our best to av- avoid conflicts, and maximize report. So what does report means? A good understanding of someone or the or the ability to communicate with others well. So we need to make sure. While we work with other people, we understand them better, 
and we communicate them. Communicate with them better. Finally, the ability to build sincerity and trust. You need to be able to trust the people you work with. You need to have moderate behaviors. So, what does moderate means? It means not extremes. So, when you avoid doing extreme behaviors, people will find whatever you say or do more agreeable. Okay. So, once you have trust and have moderate behavior, it will help you enhance agreeableness when you communicate with others. So. These are the skills included in people skills. Now I would like you to follow these steps. Go to Tron class. Download five things you can get out of attending a business conference. Then look at the title and headings. When you look at them, pay attention to noun, adjective, and verbs. After you are done with that. You will be able to create a reading map in your mind, and finally, come back to the video lecture to see whether your reading map is the same as mine or not. Now, please pause the video lecture to do these steps. Okay, I assume you just finished what I asked you to do. Let's check. From the title, five things you can get out of attending a business conference. You can know from the signal words number five that we are going to learn five things about attending a business conference, and these five things are clearly listed in the heading of the article. They are numbered, right? So the first thing we will learn is learning about your industry. Making connections, okay. Making connection, maybe building good contacts with important people. Discover opportunity. You will find out good opportunities for you to win to work with important people or to earn money. Get ideas and inspirations. You might uh, get. Uh, valuable opinions on something you need to decide, or some people might inspire you to come up with something creative. And finally, improve your job search skills. Okay, you will know how to find the right job for you. So, the scheme, uh, the prediction practice, help us. Create a map like this in our mind. Okay, in our mind. So now, before we read the article carefully, we will have a general idea of what this article is about. Okay. Now let's move on to the second pre-reading activity, which is skimming. Please look at the introduction to identify the three elements. Which are background, problem, and solution, or what we call an argument, and then look at paragraph one and paragraph two to identify the topic sentences. When you are done with these two steps, then you can come back to the video lecture to listen to my explanation. Now, please pause the video lecture. Okay, I assume you just finished doing what I ask you to do. Now let's check. So from the introduction, so let me read the introduction for you. If you are on the lookout for a new job, whether you are currently working or job searching while unemployed, attending a business conference can be a powerful tool in your job search. That said, conferences can be pricey. To make the experience budget friendly, opt for local gatherings or reach out to organizers to see if there are scholarships or discounts available. Attending a conference is an investment of your time and money, but it can net you lifelong connections, a new insight into your industry, interview opportunities, and many other benefits and opportunities. So the background here is, of course, about 
participating in a business conference, and it can be a helpful tool to help you find better jobs or good opportunities. But the downside is attending conferences are pricey. Whenever you want to join a conference, you are asked to pay registration fee, and this fee will be used to help them prepare better equipment and help them provide good food or drinks to the participants. But paying the registration fee is worthwhile because of the argument here. Attending a business conference can net you lifelong connections. So, what does net mean here? Net here means to catch. So, attending a business conference can help you catch the following things: lifelong connections. You will have contact information with important people. A new insight into your industry. What does insight mean? Insight means a clear and deep understanding of a complicated situation. So you will learn about your industry better. You'll learn more about your industry. Interview opportunities. You can get opportunity to be interviewed for better jobs, and many other benefits and opportunities, and many other good things might happen to you. Okay, when you attend a business conference, so these are what we can get from the introduction. Now, for the first paragraph, you will learn about your industry. The topic sentence is usually the very beginning of the paragraph, but is not necessarily the case. Let me read. The paragraph for you first.、Uh, during interviews, hiring managers and other potential colleagues will inquire about your past experience in education. But so I always ask you to pay attention to transition words, right? So the information after "but" is usually more important. But they will also be interested in your knowledge of the overall field. So our topic sentence is here. They'll also be interested in your knowledge of the overall field. So whenever you join a conference, the people there will want to meet someone who understands the industry very well. Okay. And the second paragraph. The topic is you make connections. So for the topic sentence of this paragraph is quite straightforward. The first sentence, networking really make a difference. Okay, really makes a difference. So what does networking means? Networking means to meet people who might be useful to know, especially in your jobs. So meeting people, meeting or I should say meeting useful people. Is extremely important in doing businesses. Okay, so these are the pre-reading activities.